Let's get rich, what? The GK Vines and Sugar Dimes can't quit, what? Now pop the caucus, lean the Vega and get lit, what? 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 Introducing Phantom Up. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Range Twin 28's FAL and Sleight of Hand with Hardline and Ninja. I actually really like this class. It was pretty decent. I don't. I usually don't like using the the FAL, but um, I never tried it with the holographic, and it actually does make a pretty good difference. It's a lot more accurate. You know, like a lot more hits with it. It's a really good good gun for longer, long medium range. Like you, can, it's um. Mm, I guess if you if you're going for longer range, like for M6, I like using three round burst guns for long range, like M16 and FAMAS. But if it's even a little bit longer than that, then this is actually a really good gun for it. The, the FALS. <clears throat> it's it's like two hit kill most of the time. Sometimes three. Stopping power is like super unneeded on this gun, because look, okay, it's like it's easy. It's just like tapping someone and they just go down so easy. And then. Uh, I was told to use the kill streaks of three, seven, nine, which is UAV, Harrier, Predator, and uh, Pavlo. And th this class and those kill streaks combine just super murder. Because um, I did not realize how easy it was to get a six kill streak. It is very simple. And also, I usually don't go too dead. I don't usually die before I get two kills at least. So that means I always have a hair, uh, UAV up to to get so I can get my kills. I mean, so I can find out where they are, and this is, it makes getting kill streaks even easier. So this gun is just like if you want to get good good kill streaks and good games, uh, you could probably replace the gun with some like an overpowered uh, assault rifle, like a Scar or um, I wouldn't use a three round burst assault rifle without stopping power. It's just my opinion. I just don't like that. But uh, yeah, definitely this gun, this whole class setup, range twin twenty eight. You got it right. This is good. This is very good. And um, and uh, I actually might use this in later gameplays too because it was it was pretty simple. I got another gameplay before this, but we actually lost because Mr. Lance Pansy came in like a little bitch had to ruin my gameplay on the other team I'm just joking, I love you Mr. Lancey Pantsy, you're cool uh, and um... yeah I actually got more kills, I got like 48 and um... and 10 I think on that gameplay and it was on Scrapyard but I already have like two other games on Scrapyard so I'm kinda glad that one didn't work out because I don't want to be like pouring up Scrapyard that is one of the easiest maps for me to get a lot of kills in Domination just because it's tighter, and I know I know like good spots to be in definitely on that map. And then if you didn't know that, you can take A right here behind this counter, like where I was. You can you can capture it. You can go in prone, but you have to be in like the same the same area, like generally. And you can cap A, and it's good for like staying protected. And uh, Lance Fancy Pansy was promoted to a sergeant. Yay! Being died by an AC-130. What a loser. But I was hiding underneath the plane, so the so I tricked the AC-130 pilot guy, thinking that I was in the plane, so he wouldn't even try shooting at me, because I didn't have enough time to run inside of it, and I don't have cold blooded. So that was just that's another tip I guess I can give you guys. Um, I guess on terminal or on other maps, get creative with it. Try tricking the pilots, and also predator missiles. I usually if the predator missile person, like person that's in their laptop launching it at you. If they can't actually see you, they think you're inside something. So even if you're like under just an overhang that has no walls to protect you from the actual missile, they they probably won't go for you. And then also like splitting up from a group of people is always like the best tactic. But if you can get under something, <clears throat> just anything, even if it doesn't have walls, just so they can't see your actual body, then they probably won't go for you. And um. And uh, also, I guess, try running underneath stuff, like under bridges or something, like on rundown. If you're on B and a predator missile comes to you, try jumping off the bridge and going under B. It's a good... I, I, I use that a lot. But I'm not sure why I'm talking about rundown, because it's terminal. And, uh, yeah, this... So, the classes that you guys give me, and the classes that I use normally, I always try using them for their, like... For all their potential. 
and basically this class oh yeah I'm using a new mic by the way so if I sound a little quiet or so loud um, or I sound different at all I'm sorry I'll look into it I'll just use the one that works better if the turtle beach the turtle beach is where I've been using all this time if they sound better then I'll just use that from now on but if this turns out sounding better or similar then I'll just use this because it's a little bit easier I don't have to unplug my turtle beaches and all that and plug them in my computer but um yeah, so I try using my, my class to the full potential, and basically this class is perfect for setting up kill streaks, taking people out at long range, so I'm not going to be rushing super hard at their spawn. Like, if I had an SMG, I'd definitely be up in there, and I'd definitely be doing some work. And uh, that's why if you see me, like, my gameplays with SMGs, my UMP, and I have another one with the P90, I'm not sure if that's come out yet, or if it's going to come out after this, I haven't planned that yet, but um... They're definitely more more fast paced, more up in your face, uh, I guess more entertaining. But you guys are recommending assault rifles. I do like using assault rifles sometimes. They're really strong and effective, so I guess it is less entertaining gameplay, but I have to I just wanna use them for what they're good for. I'm not gonna be using like a LMG and be trying to rush with it. It's just I know it's not gonna work out well. And um yeah, so if you see me kind of camping it up with these assault rifles, like, blame the game. They're set up for camping. I mean, why would they make an assault rifle that has no idle sway? And idle sway is when you're zooming in and your little red dot or your holographic would be, like, moving around in circles. Like how a sniper does. Your crosshairs, they, like, um, they sway back and forth. That's idle sway. Yeah, so uh, an assault rifle with no idle sway and no recoil, like, you can't blame someone for camping. I mean, if I can take you or for staying further back, not really camping, you can blame anyone for camping for no matter what they're using, but, yeah, um, I'm not super aggressive during this gameplay just because I have the class set up for, for taking people out at a distance. And, um... Uh, I don't have the best trigger finger, so please don't blame me for like, don't tell me how much I suck, I already know. Sometimes if I get excited, someone runs up on me, I, I'd be like, this shit turns into a rapid fire vector. But most of the time when I'm relaxed with it, I, I, I don't shoot that fast. I'm more worried about being accurate than shooting as fast as I can. And um, I've told you before, my accuracy is not the best, so I just take my time lining it up and then just pop, pop, pop. It puts them down fast enough, so you don't have to be spraying them extremely hard. And, uh, I hate people that camp in the in the in the cockpit so much. I hate when people camp in that cockpit because you can't, or at least I can't see them, and most people can't see them because it's so dark. So they can just hide in there, and you won't see them, and then they'll just get you. And especially the silencer, then you, people won't notice them until they already have like a seven kill streak, which is. And I just hate that cockpit. If it was, if there was no windows on that cockpit, this map would be so much better. Cause that hallway, it'd be ten times easier to get through. That like death hallway. That's um. That kind of connects A and C area. But <clears throat> I got hardline on, so definitely I'm going to use that perk to its full potential. I'm just going to be building kill streaks the whole time mainly. And um, and yeah, for my secondary, he didn't uh, range uh, uh, range twin twenty eight. I believe that's his name. <laughs> I kind of forgot already. But um, he didn't recommend a secondary, so I. Uh, my thought process on what secondary to use was I want something that's automatic since my primary is already semi-auto and if I get in a close range situation I want I want the comfort of not having to line up my shots every single time and being precise I want to be able to just spray someone so that's why I have a fully automatic secondary and then the silencer also is because if I'm building a kill streak and um, and I'm kind of in their spawn already because I usually build my kill streaks in the enemy spawn like or I mean like spawn trapping stuff like that and I usually know where they spawn so I kinda hang around those areas and if I'm too deep in the spawn and they start spawning like uh, kinda heavily around me oh my god sorry I was really far away from the mic so if I <laughs> I wasn't paying attention so yeah if I was um if I'm deep in the spawn and they're spawning like heavily around me I want a silenced gun just so that I can take people out without attracting too much attention to myself because um, uh, I don't want to risk like losing my kill streak 
just because I don't have a silenced gun. And we're about to win right now, so I'm not even really worried about C. I just want to get a couple more kills just so I can have a better score at the end. If you're going to win in domination, like you know you're going to win, go ahead and give up Give up your flags. Not all of your flags. Oh, that sucks. Again, that guy's got like a four or five kill feed on us. But, um, killed like four of us in a row with that M16. But, um,. If you know you're going to win, go ahead and give up like one of your flags just so you have a little bit of extra time to get some more kills. I went um, 42 and 14, 14, 42, 3 assists and then 14 deaths with uh, range, range twins class and I gotta say it's pretty good. Alright, peace.